here's the setup. Obviously, this woman is having a hysterical meltdown, but this guy is causing the hysterical meltdown. What he's saying is, you flip me off in the road, which is something that happens virtually every time anybody goes out driving, right? Someone will flip you off or get, honk the horn, or uh, that's, that's in the nature of driving. It's, call it road rage, call it whatever. It's perfectly normal. It's not some racial incident. And so he follows this woman home. She pulls into her driveway. He pulls in behind her, gets out and gets a camera in her face. That is very bad behavior. That is, forget it's not chivalrous behavior. That is aggressive, creepy. Like if anyone ever did that to my wife, then we're going to have more than a YouTube video to worry about kind of behavior. And yet he's being portrayed as the victim here. And he even admits what's he worried about. He's upset because she flipped him off. And so now he's in her face and she's freaking out. Now, why is she freaking out? She might just be a hysterical woman, but I think she's probably freaking out because she knows how this goes. How this has been going for the past few weeks is you have a viral internet video out of context, accusing some white person of, of committing a racism and whether there's evidence for it or not, that person's life is ruined. And the accuser faces no consequences at all. He actually, ironically, uses a racial epithet. It's kind of a funny racial epithet. It's one that everyone is using in popular culture now, Karen. But Karen does have a racial quality to it in that it very specifically refers to a busybody white woman. So he he's getting in her face. Imagine this. Imagine what a, what a degenerate man you would have to be to have a woman becoming hysterical in front of you, a woman that you don't know, and you follow her home and get in her face and yell insults at her. What a, what a sick degenerate pervert you've got to be to do that. So he keeps this up. She keeps freaking out and having this, this meltdown. And then he goes one step further. He decides to dox the woman. I'm a t- I don't Karen, you are you don't okay? What Can you explain to me calmly? No, but you're attacking me right now. I'm not attacking you. Like Ma'am, you flicked me off. You're ready to take it. Guys, this is her license plate number. She lives no, here. This is her address. No. Karen, you flipped me off. No, you cut me off no, and flipped me off, and now you're playing the victim. Ma'am, would you like to calm down? No, you're attacking me right now. Even Guys, she flipped me off. She literally flipped me off, and then she dr- tried to come home. She's Karen. Karen, would you like to calm down and have a conversation? Why are you? Okay, he actually is attacking her here. I know it, it doesn't quite seem that way, because, and she's obviously becoming very hysterical. She's becoming hysterical for good reason. The people who show up in these videos get their lives ruined. And what he is saying, like, here's her license plate, here's where she lives, is come get her. Come get her, mob. It, uh, it would be much less threatening if he just punched her in the face and walked away. Or like that man in New York threw a firecracker on a homeless person. It would actually be less threatening because what he's saying here is, here's where she is, here's where you can find her, even when she's in a car, you're you can find her and you can ruin her life. So I, I actually think, I, I like to think I would not react in that way, but it's perfectly understandable that she is. Just judging from this incident, this guy is a sick degenerate. And I, I don't know if there are laws against what he's doing, where he is. Doxing is against the law in many states. But if there are aren't laws, then there should be laws. And this guy should be punished for what he did. Then you Google him and you find out this guy, it's all a setup. It, it, this wasn't because she flipped him off or anything. He hates white people. Apparently his, his Twitter handle is why people hate, <laughs> why people hate, right? Get, get it. His name is Carlos Dillard. He's pulled this stunt before. He's accused people baselessly of racism before he's tried to go viral. He considers himself an entertainer and a comedian and an actor and all sorts of things. He's got all these websites on the internet and he doesn't have a big following at all, but he's trying to go viral on Twitter. And I guess he did. I guess he did. And he got what he wanted because we're talking about it. But of course we're talking about it because it trended. That's, that's what we are. That's what we are creating in this culture is make-believe. There, there isn't racial bigotry going on all over the place. It just isn't happening. There isn't a villain. There isn't an oppressor. And so degenerates like Carlos Dillard have to make it up. We're all making it up in this culture. I don't, I don't even mean just to single out him. I want to single him out because he behaved horribly and should be punished by the law for it. But it's beyond him. It's the whole culture. We should all, we should all rewrite, reset our culture. <laughs> 